Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend slash alleged accomplice on the witness stand? I suppose it could happen, right? And maybe even sooner than we thought. I'm joined again by Stacey Honowitz from the Sex Crimes and Child Abuse Unit of the Florida State Attorney's Office. Also with Hillary Fordwich, a business consultant and official royal watcher. And Josh Schiffer, who's an Atlanta-based lawyer, uh, whose firm represents another of Epstein's alleged victims. Welcome all. Okay, Hillary, I'm going to start with you. I couldn't believe it when I saw the picture. I had never seen it before, and I don't think many of us had. A picture of Jeffrey Epstein snuggling with Ghislaine Maxwell in the cozy cabin. Let's put it up on the screen because it, it might have gone uh, unnoticed, except for the fact that there's another picture of the Queen of England snuggling up in that exact same corner of the uh, little cabin on, you know, the grounds of Balmoral Castle. And I can only think that the Queen was probably pretty upset to, to see the headlines comparing that picture to the picture where she's sitting in the same spot. Well, pleasure to be back with you, Ashley, and you're absolutely right. The photograph is extremely damning, except that if you look very closely, you will see in the background that there's different backgrounds. One has a feel, a feel that, or sort of a, a, a large, long lead up to hills behind it and gorse bushes, and the other one doesn't. One has close trees and the other one doesn't. Um, the photograph of the Queen, she's actually sitting next to Margaret Rhodes. There's more than one cabin on Bamaral property. One is by the River Dee and the other one is in Glen Bog, which is a, a tributary to ri the River Dee. Um, so there's not only one cabin, uh, but yes, they're all designed very similarly. And so it does look rather similar, to say the very least, in a similar position. But no matter what, as we've talked before about the court of public opinion, this is ghastly. And this is something you're absolutely right, that neither the Queen nor anyone in the royal family should ever have to face. And it's rather dreadful that Prince Andrew has brought this down upon his ailing mother. I'll bet. Well, maybe she doesn't know. If she's ailing right now, maybe they're shielding her from this. But I love oh, the way you say ghastly. Yeah. She oh, knows. You, you really think so? She knows. Really? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Man, I kind of wish that she didn't, because I'd like her to have some peace. This isn't her fault, any of it. Okay, so uh, Stacy, the the lovey-dovey business about Ghislaine Maxwell and, and Jeffrey Epstein smooching and yachting and foot rubbing and all these gross things so that would be normal for a couple. I guess it shows that they're a close couple. Okay, I get it. We already knew they were a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend for a short time, but I don't think she's his type. Um, but does it matter otherwise unless she says to the court, I barely knew the guy? Well, I think she's kind of taken that stance, you know, even though we haven't heard it in the courtroom, we've heard it kind of outside that she really didn't have that kind of relationship with him. So certainly, any kind of evidence that shows them canoodling and together and all of these hugging and kissing shows the court, shows the jury, wait a second, this relationship is pretty tight. She must know everything that's going on with him. And remember, Ashley, it's not just the photographs that show them together. You had live testimony of these women that came forward and said, she brought me into the fold. She basically interviewed me. She kind of seduced me to meet him. She brought me to the house. It was kind of set up in the way that she wanted to work for, wanted me to work for him. And so any kind of relationship that shows them being that close corroborates what the prosecution is trying to say, that she knew and she conspired and she agreed with him to traffic these girls. So yes, it does make a difference. It certainly corroborates what these girls had to say about the relationship between her and Epstein. It's so odd when you look at pictures like that. And Josh, I wonder, you know, if your lawyer mind starts ticking, uh, her defense is going to start. And I, I mean, I could understand if they stood up and said to this jury, what girlfriend of Jeffrey Epstein would ever want to bring in another one and, and bring in loads and loads of other ones? If she loves them this much as she does in these photographs, how on earth could she possibly want to be, you know, trafficking other girls into the relationship. Is that viable or are jurors smart enough to know people can be kinky? I think jurors are really sophisticated about whether people uh, walk outside the boundaries of traditional relationships. And think about what else has been talked about in this trial. 
Mr. Epstein is being accused of when a young lady turns 18, she's suddenly getting too old. And I think it's very reasonable uh, for the state to argue, and it's something the defense is going to have to deal with, about the fact that Jelaine and Mr. Epstein certainly had an incredibly intimate relationship by acknowledgement. And that relationship changed dramatically over time. And what the st uh, government's witnesses have come up and testified is that Jelaine's relationship was so intimate, she went beyond what a girlfriend would do and became his fixer, his, his groomer. And that's really the core of the government's case right now. And that's certainly what the, the, the testimony of these young women, uh, which has just been gripping, and it's impossible for a juror to look away from actual legitimate emotion. Jurors have great noses uh, to smell lies and fakery and trickery. They're super sensitive to it. And as for everything I've heard, the testimony of these young women has been absolutely authentic that Jelaine was involved in acquiring, finding, grooming, and presenting these young women to Mr. Epstein until we'll say, he though. was done with them. You know, I will say that the cross-examinations have been really strong, almost to the point where there's been a lot of criticism, uh, not almost, definitely to the point where there's been a lot of criticism of the prosecutors for not preparing their witnesses better for a withering uh, cross-examination. Hillary, let me get this one to you because there's another criticism, and that is that the prosecutors have had all sorts of, you know, former co-conspirators or alleged co-conspirators from the two seven, uh, 2007 uh, plea deal. They could have paraded them up and onto the stand to talk about uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, they could have paraded uh, Virginia Roberts Jufre, who is the Prince Andrew accuser, up and on to the stand. And I think there's some dissatisfaction with the idea that the public could have learned a little more about Jeffrey Epstein's freak behavior. Um, but because the prosecutors didn't bring those witnesses, we, we may not. W what do you make of that? Because especially your connection to the, the royal case. Well, you're absolutely right about that. I will say that regardless of her testifying or not, and of course she's not testifying, nevertheless, a lot of what is talked about, a lot of the witnesses, a lot of the, these women that are being interviewed are actually bound to corroborate the many visits that Prince Andrew did make to that island. So it's damning just in the very lack of even her presence, what other people may say, and also the testimony of the telecommunications specialist who's already said that he's um, seen Prince Andrew there. I think that what is really also very dreadful is that Prince Andrew, of course, denies really even remembering um, Virginia Gouffre or, or much of it. And now we know from a lot of the three different mentions that have already taken place at the trial that there, these mentions actually indicate that he was there to a greater extent than he has testified or not testified but that he was in his interview with the bbc with emily that he's even talked to so far so it's actually oh, co contradicted so his previous testimony thank you for watching click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage